Welcome to Nutco. Uh, my name is Mike Ray. I'm the project lead on the Nutrov ROV. Um, the Nutrov is a 50 kilowatt electric work class ROV. Um, by being a purely electric propulsion system versus a conventional hydraulic over electric, uh, we make thrust much more efficiently. This 50 kilowatt electric um, vehicle has the same thrust levels of a 100 horsepower hydraulic machine. On the forward port side here, you can see two of the main thrusters. Again, these are the Nutco magnetically coupled uh, Mark IIs. Um, each one of these is running at three kilowatts and producing uh, about 160 pounds of thrust bidirectionally. They're a direct drive magnetically coupled thruster, so that means there's no noise or, or efficiency loss to a gearhead. So at the stern of the vehicle, we can see the rear set of, of mains. Um, what's a little harder to see is there's a third vertical in the stern um, and what that allows us to do is not only does it give us more vertical thrust but it allows us to dynamically control the pitch of the vehicle. So again between the three verticals we have dynamic control of roll and pitch. On the port side here uh, we have uh, access to the low power or telemetry can. Um, you can see the altimeter mounted in the floor here. Um, this is the fiber optic uh, cable going to the fan out box. The low power can is equipped with spare serial and ethernet bulkheads and internally there's a lot of um, reserve space to add uh, equipment. The aftmost of the two J cans is the high power can um, and we can see um, these are the lighting whips. Um, the vehicle is equipped with five presently and you can see the spare lighting bulkheads are already installed and ready for use. Uh, we have the 11 thrusters already connected here, um, but in addition we have four extra thruster channels, um, which uh, facilitates uh, the thruster mapping feature that uh, uh, allows for speedy recovery from damage without opening the J-CAN. And for service, they are on a articulated hinge. so that they can be worked on in a, a seated position. Here we have our Newt Sun 500 watt LED lights. There's a lot of people out there making sub C LEDs, but they're typically limited to 50 or 100 uh, watts. Um, these are not equivalent to 500 watts, they are 500 watt LEDs, uh, which means they produce over 70,000 lumens each. And the vehicle can support up to 12 of those. So the cameras on the vehicle today are the Nutco HD network attached cameras, which means that adding more cameras does not come with additional hardware costs. We don't need um, additional fiber optic equipment per channel. It's simply a matter of attaching another camera to the network. So the umbilical that we're using here is a uh, Aramid armored uh, soft umbilical. Um, we have three fibers and three phase AC, and that's all that we transmit. Um, umbilical size is 22 millimeters, which for a work class ROV is, is impressively small. One of the features that we've implemented to ease service is this thruster mapping uh, function. So what that means is in the event that a thruster is catastrophically damaged and blows fuses internal in the J-CAN, um, rather than need to service the fuses, when the thruster is replaced, it can simply be installed on a spare bulkhead that's already installed and remapped. So as the vehicle's configured, all channels above 11 are spares. If I select channel 12, it highlights the location on the J-CAN, and I can tell it what kind of thruster I'm installing on channel 12. So let's say it's a port bow thruster, and it's remapped. What we're looking at here is the thruster limb check uh, diagnostic page. And what this will do is allow uh, a user who's troubleshooting a potential electrical fault to run a diagnostic and determine exactly which thruster the fault is on. So one at a time, it turns on the thrusters and looks at the bus isolation value and reports it in the table here. This is the uh, Neutrov hand control console. Um, intended to be simple and intuitive. Um, you can see the main axis joystick here is the standard XY with a twist for heading. On the left we have the, uh, the vertical uh, simply up and down. 
Um, on the top, there's push buttons for the various autopilot modes. So heading lock, depth, or altitude with a push button. And there are trims for your uh, cruise control or to, to have way left on the vehicle. So by putting some forward thrust on and pressing way, we lock cruise control on. Um, there's a master attenuation paddle here to turn the thrust level of the whole vehicle up and down. And a joystick here for pan and tilt control. The vehicle as it sits right now is configured for two kilometer working depth. Um, the same configuration can be adapted to four kilometer working depth. The frame construction is almost entirely high density polyethylene with aluminum being used sparingly where the strength is required. So another unique advantage of, of the vehicle being electric and largely constructed of plastic is that its launch weight is significantly less than a comparable hydraulic machine.